So what is actually going on? Well, in today's explainer, we are going to cut through all that noise and get to the heart of what's really happening with AI development. It really feels like those are the only two options on the table, right? Either it's the end of the world as we know it, or it's just a fun party trick. But is that the real picture? Well, of course not. The reality is way more interesting and nuanced than either of those extremes. See, behind all the frantic headlines, AI is making this steady, quiet, and absolutely relentless progress on some incredibly difficult problems. So to get a real handle on this, we're going to break it down into five parts. First, we'll tackle the hype and confusion head on. Then, we'll look at a real-world story of how AI became a scientist's assistant. After that, we'll dig into the exponential progress our brains just aren't built to understand. We'll reframe our role with a powerful analogy. And finally, we're going to pinpoint the single most valuable skill you'll need for this new world. All right, let's just dive right in. Starting with all that noise, it seems like absolutely everyone has a super strong opinion on AI, and they're almost always on opposite ends of the spectrum. You see it all the time, right? One person's convinced it'll take every job tomorrow, while another gets one wrong answer and declares the whole thing a complete failure. But that kind of misses the entire point. These are tools, and the real story is just how quickly they're improving and how we can learn to work with them. So, to make this really concrete, let's step away from all the hypotheticals and look at a fascinating real-world story. This is about how AI became an indispensable partner to one of the world's top scientists. Meet Scott Aronson. This guy is a leading mind in quantum computing, a field so complex there's only a tiny handful of people on the entire planet who can truly push its boundaries. He's also worked at OpenAI, so let's just say he knows this tech inside now. And not long ago, he published a scientific paper and dropped an absolute bombshell. He admitted that a critical key step in his main proof didn't come from him or his human collaborator. It came from an AI. Now, don't worry about the jargon here. I'm certainly not going to pretend to understand quantum complexity theory. What's important is that Aronson and his colleague were totally, completely stuck on this one mathematical proof they described as annoying and just plain difficult. So how did they get unstuck? It wasn't a magic button. The AI's first guess was pretty good. It was plausible, but it was wrong. So Aronson corrected it, kind of like a professor guiding a student. They went back and forth, iterating for about 30 minutes, and then, bam, the AI suggested the exact function that cracked the entire problem wide open. And here is the part you really need to hear. Aronson is totally clear. He's pretty sure they could have solved it on their own, eventually. The AI didn't do something superhuman. What it did was collapse what could have been weeks of frustrating dead-end work into a single 30-minute collaborative session. It just accelerated the whole process of discovery. So the bottom line from this story is simple, and it perfectly captures where AI is right now. It's not a replacement for human genius or expertise. It's an accelerant for it. It's a tool that helps experts get unstuck and just dramatically speeds up innovation. Now, that story is an amazing single data point, but it points to a much, much bigger trend, one that's moving at a speed our brains find incredibly difficult, almost impossible to really grasp. Julian Schittweiser, one of the key researchers behind the famous AlphaGo system, he puts it bluntly. Our brains are wired to think in straight lines, but AI is progressing on an exponential curve. We just plain suck at understanding what that really means in practice. And hey, this isn't just a theory. Look at this data from Meta Research. Back in 2020, the best AI models could handle tasks that would take a person about 40 minutes. Fast forward to 2024, and that has jumped to almost two hours. The trend line here is just unavoidable. And when you plot out this long-term trend, you find something genuinely staggering. The length of a task an AI can successfully complete from start to finish has been doubling, on average, every seven months. But wait, that seven-month average includes older, slower models. What happens if we zoom in and look only at the progress from this year's cutting-edge AIs? Well, that's when the curve gets much, much steeper. When you isolate just the newest models, you can see that progress isn't just continuing, it's actively getting faster. The acceleration is accelerating. That doubling rate? It has dropped from seven months all the way down to just four months. I mean, think about that for a second. The core capability of these systems is literally doubling every four months. That is insane. Now, if you just follow that line, you get some pretty mind-bending predictions. By mid-2026, models could handle a full eight-hour workday's worth of tasks. By the end of 2026, they could match human experts. And by the end of 2027, they could frequently outperform them. 
This isn't sci-fi. This is just following the data where it leads. Okay, so given this unbelievable acceleration, what on earth does that mean for us? For our jobs, our skills, our future? To make sense of it all, I think we need a better way to think about it, a better mental model. Steve Jobs had this famous analogy. He saw a study that showed humans are actually pretty inefficient movers. But put a human on a bicycle, and suddenly we become the most efficient creatures on the planet. He called computers bicycles for the mind, and AI is the next evolution of that bicycle. Now, think about any kind of knowledge work. You can break it down into three parts. There's implementation, which is just doing the task, you know, writing the code or the report. Then there's opportunity judgment. That's seeing what could be done better. And finally, payoff judgment, knowing which of those things are actually valuable and worth doing. AI is becoming superhuman at that first part, implementation. And this, right here, is the insight that changes everything. As AI gets better and better and cheaper at doing things, our uniquely human ability to direct it, our judgment, becomes exponentially more valuable. It's a multiplier, not a replacement. A better power drill makes a skilled carpenter even more valuable, not less. This is creating a really fascinating two-phase effect. Right now, in phase one, AI seems to be reducing inequality. It's helping less skilled workers catch up on those implementation tasks. But phase two is coming. And once implementation is basically free for everyone, the only thing that's going to matter is your judgment. And the gap between those with good judgment and those with bad judgment could become absolutely massive. This brings us to our final and honestly our most important point. And this is for everyone. I don't care what your job is or how technical you are. What is the single most valuable skill you can be developing right now? The feature is not about trying to outcompete the AI. That is a losing game you do not want to play. It's about leveraging it. And the key to that leverage isn't some technical skill like prompt engineering. It's something deeply, uniquely human. It's wisdom. It's judgment. You know, right now, so much of the conversation is about learning to write better prompts. In our analogy, that's basically teaching people how to be a better, more efficient bicycle. But that's not what the future requires. What the future requires is for all of us to learn how to be better writers. So let's give this skill a name. The most valuable skill in this new economy is going to be opportunity judgment. It's that core human ability to look at the world and see what could be better, and then have the wisdom to know what truly matters. It's about pointing the incredible power of AI at the right problems. Look, the progress we are seeing is real, and it is speeding up. The bicycles for our minds are getting faster and more powerful every single day. So the question we all need to ask ourselves is a simple one. Am I spending my time learning how to be a better bicycle, or am I learning how to be a better rider? Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe next to Lyft AI.